And welcome back to Let's Play This Guy, Hour of Darkness. Last time, we tried to confront the Seraph about what's been really going on between Earth, Celestia, and the Netherworld. And unfortunately, we've met some resistance. In this video, we're going to continue our, uh, I guess, our sort of uh, infiltration of Celestia. And probably have to fight more angels. We'll see what happens in Angelic Quar. It's been a while, Flo. Master Volcanus! What? Don't tell me he's an angel. You've got to be kidding. No matter how you look at it, that's a face of a villain. True. You look so evil, it's a pity that you're an angel. Silence! How oh dare you my glorious face and call me a villain? Angel trainee Flav, to conspire with demons to wage war on Celestia is an unspeakable sin. Not only that, but you can't miss You deserve nothing short of death. I, the Archangel Volcanus, shall carry out your sentence. Celestia. And on top of that, you trick that stupid defender of Earth into fighting for your cause. How despicable. It is our responsibility as angels to destroy demons, the root of all evil, and watch over the helpless human race. To renounce your sublime duty and join forces with these foul demons is simply unforgivable. Who the hell do you think you are? Wait! Please! Let me handle this! Master Volcanus, I pity you! What? What? You believe that demons are evil, that humans are helpless, and that you alone are right! But I know that demons can show kindness, and humans can be brave! Without seeking proof, you have allowed your judgment to be colored by prejudice! Isn't the evil which you speak of in your own heart, Master Volcanus? What? Well said, Juan! Right on the nose. Right on. Beep, beep, bleep, beep. I am deeply moved. I see that the Defender's spirit has awakened within you, too. From this day forward, you shall be known as a Defender of Earth. in my heart never i am only doing what is right and i will prove that to you here and now with your death go soldiers kill them all so yeah none of the uh group was really fooled at volcanus being any sort of benevolent figure and here's a level where things start to get a bit more complicated. We've got some recovery panels, plus some defense boosting panels. And unlike a lot of levels where we see panels like this, where we can just situate ourselves on them, the enemy is actually uh, camping out on these panels to start with. So, we're going to try and look for a way to destroy those panels, and I think I see one. I'm going to have someone... 
Probably can't accomplish too much on their own this turn. Just toss Guts over and he'll throw down a Dark Cannon. And we'll get rid of these panels. I could potentially use them to my advantage, but there's not much reason to. Especially since it would just make the fight take longer, and I don't really need that. Especially since these fights are going to be plenty long enough. Uh, the Most of them are going to either have uh, a decent amount of enemies, or enemies that are very strong and take a while to take down. And... Take out someone who's uh, very likely to uh, finish off all those uh, Magic Knights at once. I've never really mentioned it, but the important thing about uh, lifting and throwing characters is really knowing uh, who can accomplish what you really want done the most efficiently. Let's see... I need a way that I can hit a good amount of these guys without hitting guts. I think this'll do. Give me a chance to show off uh, the newest spear skill, Spear Storm. This is a, another area of effective attack, like Turbulence, like Asteroid Drop, except this one is Fire Elemental. And this is the really the big specialty of uh, Spears, uh, skill-wise, is that they have a lot of area of effect attacks. And, honestly, it's not really that much better than a sword in that regard, except that the area of effect is around the user, whereas with a sword, it's typically in front of the user. What is uh, Flan's ultimate one again? I don't use Flan's ultimate very much because it's not really that much better than her just using magic. Looks like it's uh, Overlord's Wrath, but it's mobile. But I don't need that, I have Giga Ice. Ooh, I just barely managed to survive that. Can uh, Helena's ultimate skill hit from here? Yes, it can. Doppelganger. This is the most straightforward bow skill in the game. Just hits uh, a single target from a range that you pick. And it does good damage. That's all there is to it, really. Finally, something bow users can do that isn't overly complicated. And then I'll have Spike move up and toss Laharl, and that should take out all of these knights. Now, those archers are in range to attack, and probably gonna get those angels advancing towards uh, my characters. Uh, ah. Once again, perspective. I just am not a master of it. Let's see how far they can move. Well, I know the archers will definitely get in some hits. Looks like the angels are out of range, so I can just end turn. But yeah, it seems pretty apparent to everyone except Volcanus himself that Volcanus is... Quite an impressive bad guy. It's uh, kind of amazing that he can be so evil and not even be aware of it. I suppose that's just what makes him such an effective villain. Actually, can I reach this one? Yes, I can. And I'll have a Foo refresher moves. Should be able to reach this guy. Won't be able to Braveheart both of them, but Graviton Bomb should kill this anyway. 
Just gotta look for all those little micromanagements you can make with your team to uh, most effectively accomplish what you want to do. I may need to send someone up to finish off that guy uh, after Gordon Blitz, just because Gordon isn't that strong, but it's not a huge deal. And if he does finish him off, well, so much the better. Graviton Bomb, I'm reasonably certain, will do this. High strength, fire weakness, any fire weakness at all, really. It just does good. I was actually thinking about it recently, and I wasn't real—I haven't really been using Laharl's uh, Fire Knuckle at all, even though it does give him some good, uh, oh wow, Gordon did kill. Even though it does give him some good uh, elemental coverage, it's just because even when you're attacking a weakness with Blazing Knuckle, the base damage of like Overlord's Wrath and uh, Meteor Impact, and even uh, just stuff like now, like Wind Cutter and Dimensional Slash, Maybe not Wind Cutter, but definitely Dimensional Slash. The base damage of those just trumps the uh, base damage of Blazing Knuckle, even when you factor in the weakness. Now, this is always going to be one of the big sticking points for me about Spears, is that their single target options are just really obnoxious to work with. Of course, when you've got one of the best spears in the game, it's not as huge of an issue, but still. What's this one weak to? Ice. Had a 1 in 3 chance, just couldn't get it. So, I've pretty much exhausted everything I've said about this game, so... Guess to talk about random other stuff until we get to the next map. Uh, well, uh, after uh, putting it off for a while, I've uh, purchased a copy of uh, Devil Summoner, Raido Kuzunoha vs. the Soulless Army. That was a great time for the half damage bug to kick in. And uh, I've played uh, King Abaddon first, but I haven't actually completed that game. I still need to, it's like... Uh, Kind of one that I've had backlogged for a while, and I've just never gotten around to finishing. And it's uh, definitely uh, pretty weird to go back to the first game, because the sequel to it just changed so much. Oh wow, uh, Longinus has even given such a huge speed boost that these guys can barely touch Etna. Well, that's partially due to the coach that I gave her. But yeah, it's definitely an interesting game when you compare it to its sequel, and... Uh, uh, actually, just playing it a bit, it's uh, I think it's a really good example of what a sequel should strive for when it's trying to improve a series. Because, like, everything in uh, King Abaddon compared to Soulless Army, it, it's just like, whatever was like too annoying or something that could was, you know, functional but could have been polished, uh, King Abaddon fixed that compared to Soulless Army, and it's really good, huh? Once I finish Soulless Army, I think I'm going to get back to King Abaddon and finally finish it. If you don't know what games I'm talking about, look them up. Uh, it's uh, Shin Megami Tensei, Devil Summoner, Raidu Kozunoha vs. Soulless Army. Uh, yes, there are two colons in that name. They just try to fit all those titles into one so that people won't get confused about what series it's part of. It's a bit better in the original release, where it's just Devil Summoner, Raido Kuzunoha versus whatever. But since uh, Shin Megami Tensei is a bit more obscure in US, they've always got to include that title at first. Now that I'm done rambling about different video games entirely, let's go to the Coliseum. Something's not right. Huh? What do you mean? We've made it this far, but still haven't seen any sign of the Seraph. That's true. If the Seraph is not involved in any of this, then why hasn't he come out and saved Flan? So, you're saying the fact that he hasn't shown up can only mean... I understand your point. But, I'll believe in Master Lamington until the very end. Jeez, you're stubborn. Don't tell me it's because of love again. Yes, it is. Absolutely. To have faith in someone you respect, that 
It's love. Oh, what a love freak. Well, I don't trust the Seraph myself, but I guess I can tag along. Etna. I'll help you, Flan. I believe in you. Me too. I trust in your love. Beep, beep, blip, beep. I will accompany you too. Miss Jennifer, Mr. Gordon, Mr. Thursday. This is ridiculous. You guys are so naive. Hmm? Does that mean you're leaving, Prince? F fool How can I turn back now when I haven't seen the Seraph? I'll go on even if it's by myself. Laharl. Everybody, thank you so much. I'm glad that I met all of you. I have harmed my own kind. No matter how this journey ends, I will receive severe punishment. But I have no regrets. I was able to meet such wonderful companions. So, looks like uh, Flan's hiding something. Looks like something's going to have to happen after we uh, finish with all this. Uh, and now this is a map that I've always hated because I just never figured a good way to get past that no entry panel. But we're gonna see if I can hit it with Dark Cannon. So I've been using the skill a lot and it does look like Dark Cannon can be placed through no entry barriers. Cannot be placed on them though. Hmm. Okay, so we're gonna have to look for a place where I can place it and it won't get the shots won't get blocked by an archer. If this works, this speeds up the level immensely. If not, okay, it works good. Yeah, I don't know why it never occurred to me to ever use the dark cannon like this. I used it a lot in my first playthrough for the purpose of killing enemies, and then I realized that deprived me of experience. I was like, eh, I'm gonna stop doing that. But then I didn't think about the other utilities of the ability. I think certain times when I played this level and I didn't think of a way to get rid of these no entry panels, I just waited for enemies to advance into the corridor and see how many would do that. Or try to advance outside of the no entry area's range and try to uh, snipe me. And with that I could just uh, nuke them with flan spells. You know, I've been playing overly cautious with these dark cannons, it really doesn't matter, they don't do a lot of damage at all. Certainly not enough that it's going to make any critical difference a lot of the times. So I can't even shoot Etna. It's so cautious for nothing. Repent. Oh wow. There's a, there's a mage that's actually been practicing its craft. Oh, never mind. Repent. This one, on the other hand, actually has the range to make the difference. Oh, that's unfortunate. I was actually going to have Flan uh, heal Etna there. Oh well, sometimes it happens. Deprave, but Deprave doesn't do anything in this game. I should be a little more cautious with Etna, because despite her great attack power, her defense still isn't that great. So she can be killed very easily if she gets ganged up on. And once uh, this attack's finished, just let's look at the enemy's levels for comparison. Laharl's 61 right now, I believe, which is my highest. In comparison... Most of the enemies are level 60 or higher. Do I have a healing item on hand? No, I don't. Better safe than sorry. I'll toss that now out of any potential ranged attacks. 
And while I'm at it, throw out some people who can uh, take out some of these enemies and uh, act as bait. Wasn't you I wanted, Helena? This one is weak to fire. Well, actually, I haven't shown off Calamity Drive yet. This will lead up most of my SP, and this is a dumb idea, but... It looks really cool. And really, that's the most important thing in these games. So yeah, I haven't shown off Big Bang yet. Showed off Dimension Slash plenty of times. Yeah, I was thinking about it, and I... I have the worst memory ever, and I can't recall if I used Inferno, the ultimate gun skill, when I first got it or not. I probably did, but I... As uh, some of you who followed these videos all the way through might have noticed, I have a very poor memory on what I have and haven't done. To the point where, even though I could just go back and check the videos I made to see what I've done, sometimes that... It just completely leaves me as soon as I stop recording. Uh, that's unfortunate. I would do combo, but Laharl's pretty strong, especially with the Diabolic Sword, so this might be able to kill. Sorry about that, I was just checking Laharl's weapon aptitudes again, because I was thinking about it, and I was wondering if he had an A in stabs or not. It would be kind of silly if he did, because then he'd be, uh... Well, he doesn't really focus on stabs, so it wouldn't really make much sense for him to have that. But, he's good with a lot of weapons in this game. I don't really think... Like, just versatility-wise, any Laharl in the Disgaea games has been as good as the Laharl in the first one. But certainly, like, aptitude-wise and stats-wise, Laharl's gotten better over the years. Uh, just an inverse of the way I tried to do it the first time. Guts over there? Yes, I can. Sorry I'm uh, deliberating a lot on things. Uh, you probably noticed the high damage, and... Not to sound like a broken record, I'm just trying to be careful. And the Gordon I had him throw. Is this one weak to fire? No, it's not. Big Bang is a 3x3 three three attack that hits the front of you, and it's fire elemental in this game. Uh, Big Bang has been a recurrent fist skill for fist weapons in every Disgaea game, I believe. Uh, this is the only game where it's fire elemental. Every game afterwards, uh, they figured that it being fire elemental hurt its usefulness too much, so they changed it to a neutral elemental. It might have also coincided with the fact that the sword skill, uh, Winged Slayer, either just doesn't appear at all or was... Uh, heavily reworked. And Helena should be able to finish off that one angel, the super angel that's level 70. Doppelganger should do it. Standing as close as you can to your enemy to get a ranged shot, because that is the best way to be an archer. I saw how low those individual shots were doing, I was actually worried this wouldn't kill. Certainly the enemies here give enough experience so that if you are behind in levels, uh, the characters that are going to be getting the bulk of your kills will definitely catch up in no time at all. And there's one way all the way over there, just to be annoying.
Alright, I'll, uh... I was gonna let someone else get the kill to spread experience around, but that's just gonna take too long, so... We're gonna create a throw chain with Laharl and get him over there. From there, Night Sever will, uh... I'd say pretty badly ruin the day of this person. Aw, oh, just barely. It's okay, I can toss Lucille up. I hate it when I miss simple stuff like that and way overcomplicate throw chains. That has uh, messed me up in the item world before where I didn't fully think about the how I was throwing my characters and ended up making the chain not work at all. And then there's those times where you just go past one that you intended to and overthrow or underthrow and that also ruins your throw chain. Despite those high uh, number figures for money, not really getting a lot of money at all. Still no new prizes. But, uh, that was a decent amount of progress, got two maps done. Uh, next one is going to be a fun one, because uh, well, we get uh, one more character to uh, join our force. You'd think we'd be completely done with getting new characters at this point, and uh, any character that joined us at this point, unless they were really powerful, would be way behind. Uh, and, well, you'd be right. Uh, I won't tell you uh, which part uh, you're right about, though. But uh, we'll find out next time. So I hope you enjoyed watching, and have a nice day. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.